Welcome back, everybody. It's a bonus episode of Marathon Mondays with Mal. We were just in the paint department. We were just in the paint department talking about getting that coach ready to come down, and we were talking about reimagining a paint job and bringing your coach in. We had Andy on there. If you didn't get to see it live, go back and watch it. It'll be up on YouTube later. But the bottom line is we were talking about painting, reimagining a coach and repainting. Here is 1031's paint job that was just repainted. Look how beautiful this coach is. I wanted to bring you this bonus idea. Actually, this was Todd's idea. I can't take credit for it this morning. But this coach, 1031, is for sale and Marathon repainted it. And look at the beautiful finish to this coach. And the idea was, since we were just talking about it with Andy Ibarra from the paint team, I want you to get a good look at 1031. How pretty. Now I'm gonna jump in the camera here because this is the bonus to episode 99 and we're coming up on our 100th show and we haven't seen him in a while and he's not mic'd up right now but Dave Bash is right here. So I'm gonna ask Dave to come in here and I'm gonna put you on the spot and I'm gonna ask you a very specific question. So I'm gonna take this off. I know Todd, Todd put this on here so. They don't wanna hear me. They will, oh, they wanna hear you. So here's, here's the deal everybody. Uh, for this bonus episode, um, let's, let me ask you a question. Yeah. We just showed 1295 in service, getting right. prepared to head down to San Francisco right. and you're driving it. All right. Give us some tips, two or three tips to safe driving on the road from you, who is a very experienced driver. Now, this is not the law of the land. No. This is just your personal preference on things that have made you a safe driver over the years in a 45-foot Prevo. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, Okay. never be filmed on camera in a coach, okay? <laughs> Step number one. Step number one. <laughs> Step number two, just pay attention to those around you. It's just like you would with any vehicle driving. I mean, and be prepared. You're sitting up higher so you can see farther ahead than normal. Right. And so you can see any obstacles or anything happening ahead of you that might be a problem. So uh, just, you, you've got a lot of coach and a lot of weight here to stop. So you got to be not following too close like any vehicle but you have to be mindful of that in these coaches and just have to pay attention to what's going on ahead of you and around you after you have done all of your checks on the exterior of the coach okay. prior to driving all right. you sit down in the cockpit dave what are the first things that you do when you sit down at the cockpit adjust the seat and adjust the mirrors okay so that i can see around me absolutely mm -hmm. Very, very important. Uh, one of the first, I mean, Dave taught me how to drive. I came into this industry very green, as most of you know, and Dave uh, showed me the ropes on how to be not just a good, effective driver, but a safe, effective driver. Um, and so. Uh, you haven't got any wrecks yet? Not anything? yet. The day okay. is young. All right. Um, so, as far as uh, heading down to San Francisco, you know, really just uh, know your know your surroundings and, and know that you're driving a 45-foot bus, right? Right, yeah. Okay. Basically, just got to pay attention. It's just like you would in any vehicle. Absolutely. You got to know the size and weight of your vehicle and just adjust your, give yourself more room. There, there you go. So there it is. Uh, Dave's actually headed down to uh, the NADA show also. So, Dave, thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome. Let's okay. go show the uh, curbside of this coach. Always fun to have Dave on camera, the co-host of Marathon Mondays. 
I'm gonna let Todd get a nice wide shot. And the reason we did this bonus episode, not as to corner Dave, but really to show you, like we were talking about with Andy, the reimagining and the repaints of a pre-owned coach and the benefits of having Marathon do it. Look how beautiful that looks. So I see that John Kraus just asked a very good question. When you purchase a pre-owned coach or a brand new coach from Marathon and you come to the headquarters here in Coburg where all of the coaches are built, you get to spend time with Dave Bash. Dave's been with us 20 years and he knows these coaches very, very well. You know that from watching Marathon Mondays, but one of the things that you get to do when you purchase a coach from Marathon is spend time with Dave going over the procedures of operating your new purchase and driving your new purchase. Operating, and what I mean by that is not just driving, but the systems in the coach. Everything from the audio visual to the plumbing, so yes, you do get to spend time with Dave. I see Mike Judge is gonna be down there at NADA, that's great. So hope everyone uh, who went to the Tampa RV show uh, had a good time. That was a really uh, fun event. I was not down there, but uh, I've heard nothing but good things and got to see um, Casey Hess, our salesman down in Florida, on, on social media. He was all over uh, the television media down there. And uh, so that was really good. Uh, other than that, everybody, I think we're going to get out of here on this bonus episode. Big thanks to Todd and Mickey and, of course, the co-host Dave Bash for showing up on this bonus episode. Go out there and honor Martin Luther King Jr. today, everybody. Drive safe, be yourself, and do good things.